If you're using Make and you want to combine multiple records into an HTML table to maybe send an email or create a PDF, then keep watching. I'll show you exactly how to do that. My name is Andy O'Neill, and I create content on this channel for business owners and freelancers to help them scale and automate their business. Sometimes it's handy to get data from a database or a CRM and format it into an HTML table. I've done this to actually create websites that show data, create reports, or even send HTML emails. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. And by the way, if you want to learn how to create numbered or ordered lists in HTML, Check the description for a video and I'll show you how to do that there. Let's start off by going to the screen and figuring out what HTML code we need to create our table. All right, so I have some HTML code here in an editor and it's just basic HTML code for a table. And you can look over here and this is what the table looks like when it's rendered. So the first step in doing this is to create the table that you want. So here's our data, just a simple data set. We have city, state, postal code, and we're going to run those through and put those in an HTML table. So back in our editor, you can see we have city, state, and postal code, which matches our data. And then this row right here, this bottom row, is going to be the row that we want to repeat. Whether we have three records or a hundred records, we want one row per record. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here is our code. Again, just basic table code. I'm not going to do any fancy markup. You can do that. But what we want is our repeatable section. So the repeatable section in this, in a table, is this table row. So all of this is going to be once, all of this will be in here once, but this is the part that we're going to repeat over and over again for each record. So I'm actually going to copy that and we're going to go over to make and build our scenario. All right, so I already have my Google Sheet module hooked up to my spreadsheet. And if I run this, I'll get a little bit of data back here. We got seven rows and we have our city, state, and postal code. All right, so we want to put those into a table. So we're going to use the text aggregator right down here. First thing we're going to do is paste our text in there. So this is our repeating text, and we have the placeholders for city, state, and postal code. Uh, this is correct. We'll hit OK. So what's going to happen is this is going to aggregate text from this Google Sheet. Now, just a note, you'll want to sort your source, in this case, our Google Sheet or your database, CRM, whatever. You want to sort the data when you retrieve it in the order that you want it into the table because we're not going to be able to sort that in our table. So let's go over here and just map our items here. So we have city, state, and postal code. All right, we'll hit OK. And then the next thing we're going to do, this is where you would, I'm, I want to compose a string, but this is where you would send this data to either to an email or a PDF or that kind of thing. You could assemble this in that module. Now here is my table code from uh, our, our editor. All right. So I just copied it from our editor right here. I got the entire thing, but we want to take out these repeatable lines right here. So we want to take these out and then we want to paste our lines from the text editor. All right, so we're going to hit OK here, save. And what's going to happen is we're going to, our, our table code is going to be spit out in this module. And we'll go paste it in our editor and see if it looks right. Let's run this. OK, so here is our HTML code. So let's copy this and head on over to our editor. And I'm just going to paste all of this in here and hit save. And our table over here updates. So now you can see we have a column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we had seven rows of data in our spreadsheet. We have our headers, which are part of our non-changing part of our code. And then we have each of the items here from our records. So that's how you create an HTML table from different records. If you're liking this automation tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you'll see future videos. And so I know I'm on the right track in creating things that you enjoy. If you get stuck with Make and need one-on-one -on -one support, head over to weblitica.com where myself or a member of my team can help.